Okay, so a few disclaimers before I get into this. Um, I don't do YouTube that much, so my mic is pretty shit, if you can't tell. I'm actually just recording this off a phone, so... Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sorry for that. Um, my second disclaimer, a combat-focused video has been announced, and it will be released, well, at the time of recording this tomorrow. It might already be released if you're watching this, so it's likely my thoughts might be different, and I may make a like a follow-up video if they do change a bit uh if they don't change you know i won't make a follow-up video um another disclaimer i didn't become a sonic fan until like a few months ago so maybe my opinions don't hold much weight to you and if they don't that's fine you don't have to care uh you could click off this video right now uh but i do don't i don't do the i don't care i don't care um and finally, as of this recording, Sega hasn't said if this is an old build or not. It's very likely this is an old build. Um, so until then, I'm going at this just assuming it's the current build. So a few positive things before we get into all the negative stuff. Sonic looks pretty good here. Um, I think the model looks really nice. They could have easily changed up the design, but I think it's, I think it's honestly just fine. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, the glitch type powers he has look super cool. I think those look really nice. Visually, the game is stunning. It is genuinely beautiful. The gameplay here that I'm showing from IGN, um, it looks really nice. I am, I don't think there's any complaints there. And finally, there's some really good concepts here. Like, I genuinely, I think there's some really good concepts. Unfortunately, that's all I have to say for positive stuff. Um, there's not much to go off because most of the video is just them exploring. Um, but, you know, obviously the list of positive things will change as we get more gameplay and, you know, more footage is shown. Okay, so moving on to the negative things. Um, the first thing I have written down, the world looks massively unfinished and lifeless. Um... With starting with the lifeless part, it just there's no NPCs, there's no anything. There's just it's just Sonic really, and it just feels kind of lifeless, and it's just Sonic in this vast open world, and you know it's just. Uh, and then moving on to like the unfinished, messy part, you know those Roblox games where it has a bunch of random shit placed down, but there's no effort put into it whatsoever. It's basically that but at least in sonic there is effort put into it obviously but it's basically one of those roblox games and that's not good because you know this shouldn't this should feel like a sonic open world game not like a roblox game um moving on to the next point sonic feels out of place you know there's nothing really related to him there's no tribes there's no like fucking there's, not, there's nothing really, there's no civilizations related to Sonic or anything. The only real things related to Sonic are Sonic himself. And, you know, the rings and the railings. Um, it genuinely feels like he was modded into an entirely different game. This this next part is a little nitpicky. Um, but we haven't seen the HUD still, which, for a trailer, fine. That's completely fine, obviously. But this isn't a trailer. It's a full video showing off gameplay, which I mean, is just kind of annoying because I've seen loads of concepts online for the hood. So I'm kind of just wanting to wonder now what the hood is. So yeah, that, that, I just, I just want to know what the hood looks like. Why they're not showing it, I don't know. Um... The next thing, animations are super unfinished. Um, one example is with the tricks. He does like a trick after going off a railing and it just looks really bad. It doesn't look good at all. Um, there's clearly an animation there at least, but it just it looks really unfinished. Um, this next part that I've just thought of, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of popping. Um, if game, with games, you can obviously, like, you know, you can turn up and turn down your render distance. But I feel like for this game, wouldn't they have it turned, like, wouldn't they have the render distance turned all the way up? Like, for the, okay, it depends, obviously, what they're playing on, but still, I feel like it just feels a little off. Like, 
they would probably have their render distance turned up. And the fact that there's pop-in for massive, like, art, like, you know, landmarks in the game, it just feels odd. Um, and finally, I think they messed up with the setting of this game. Like, in general, I just think they messed up. Um, I feel like having this be, like, an open, like, you know, the usual open world thing where it's, like, this massive land of air, like, this massive area of land with grass and trees, I feel like they shouldn't have done that for a Sonic game. I feel like they should have done, like, a city, you know, an open world station square, maybe. Um, not, just not, th just not this. Just, I don't think they should, it's fine, it looks good. But I don't think they should have done it. I think they should have gone with, like, a C or something easy for Sonic's first open world game. Because, you know, Sonic is uh, very known with, like, known in, to be in cities. So, I just feel, it just makes sense. Um, so, yeah. That, I'm done with the negative stuff. <laughs> well, let's just move on to, like, the other stuff. So as of this recording, there is currently a hashtag going around on Twitter called hashtag delay Sonic Frontiers. And in my opinion, I agree. Um, the game is clearly not finished and six months can change a couple things, but nothing as big as the issues I, I pointed out. Um, I posted a tweet on Twitter, which said, which basically said this, um, Sonic Frontiers has to succeed. This game needs to be the best it can be. We can't afford any of the Sonic forces definitely delay the game take your time and give us a release date a new trailer when you're ready we love you sonic team um i think an indefinite delay is the best course of action for this game um it happened with sonic movie one while they fixed up the design and that ended up not only doing really well but it received a sequel which is correct me if i'm wrong the best selling video game movie of all time i'd also like to to add on to that tweet, what many others have suggested, which is let the public test the game through a playable demo and give feedback. That, along with an indefinite delay, would be the secret to making this game the best it can be, which is really needed, in my opinion. Thanks for listening. Um, if you want to support me, my Twitter is at RenegadeRelicZero. I also have an art account where I do mostly Fortnite-related 3D art, uh, but I also am working on Sonic and Spider-Man stuff, so... Follow at RenArt7654 if you're interested. Um, speaking of Fortnite, I am working on a Chapter 2 rewritten video. I, I've been working on it for a while. I'm pretty excited for it to release when I'm done with it. I don't know when I'll be done with it, but I'm excited for it to release when I am.